Hello everybody and welcome back to Regrowth. So as you can see, I got some armor, yeah. So that that zombie that was out there in the gold armor, I I killed him eventually and he dropped me this this gold chest plate, which is pretty darn good. Um I still need to take this out, but I'm kind of using it for the lookout. Yeah. Um but in between, I've gotten ready for a bunch of quests. Um, I've cleared that up. We now have two sugarcane and two uh, water artichokes. So let's get inside so we can work uninterrupted. Not that I think anybody's going to interrupt us, but yeah, I haven't done too much work off camera, but I got them some things ready. So let's open up our quest book and let's go back here. And we'll just go straight. I guess we can go back this way. So let's start with uh, quest, quest line one. We have flower power, so we needed to make the um, stuff that I forgot to grab. 16 living wood and 16 living rock from Potania. Um, I've got other stuff in my inventory, which I should probably get rid of. So we got the mandrakes and the belladonnas and the water artichokes, wheat, sugar cane, carrots, and some red sand. Yes. Okay. That looks good. So let's go back in here and select our quest. Turn that in, and we get some floral fertilizer, three more pure daisies, and a choice of floral fertilizer, living rock, or living wood. Um, I think the floral fertilizer is probably the hardest one to get, because we have to craft it with a bunch of bone meal and stuff, so we'll go with that. Yay! Okay, and let's put that away. I forget where I've put it. Where did I put floral fertilizer? It's in the chest with the flowers. That's right. I remembered, yes, floral fertilizer in there. And we'll put our daisies in there for now. And the living wood and living rock. There we go. Okay. One quest down. Okay. And then that unlocked some new, more quests here with the sunshines and lollipops and the sound solution. So we'll get to those soon. And the world, what the world teaches. So we need to make some books. So we tooled up with knowledge. We need the materials in you, volume one, volume two. We need Tinker's Weaponry and Mighty Smelting. So, uh, if we look, if we don't put down torches, and I am pushing all the right buttons in the wrong order. Okay, pick up the torch. Thank you, okay. Now let's hit this button, and if we go to Tinkers, I think, sure, that'll work, maybe. Okay. Fine. Book? Uh, big writing book. Okay, wait, nope, okay. What is this called? Materials. And we want the, what is it? Tinker's Weapons. I looked this up, there we go. <laughs> Tinker's Weaponry. Okay, to make this, we can take Mighty Smelting and put it in our crafting thing. Okay, how do we make the Mighty Smelting? Mighty Smelting, we take our materials in new volume two and put it in our inventory and it turns into Mighty Smelting, or it gives us Mighty Smelting. So. Materials in you, volume two. Mighty smelting. Oh. Okay. And then the mighty smelting. I guess we'll have to make more copies. I thought we get to keep the old one. Okay, whip Tinker's Weaponry. Yay! So I think we've completed that quest. <laughs> Hooray. So we get a book and some experience drops. Yay. Now we need to make those books again. Again, which I'll do off camera. That's fine. We'll add that to our stack of books. And I guess we'll put the other one on the bookshelf. Um, put you up here. Number four. And then we'll have to make the rest of those again, which we're 
pretty easy, I think. Okay, well, I'll do it off camera. Don't worry about it. Okay, and then that uh, unlocks, ooh, Tales of Tinker's Past. We need to make the diary of a tinker. Okay, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Moving on, what the world enables. The snorkel, so we need to make the snorkel. Easy peasy, right? We've got our reeds, we've got our woods, and I already went ahead and got the four deadwood planks and two glass, so we make two lenses, and then two lenses, plus, oh, I put the sugar cane away. I had two sugar cane in my inventory to do this with, and then I harvested some, and then I forgot. Okay, and there we go, one, two, a snorkel, yay! We're on a roll, guys. Okay, oh, now what? We have to find a pearl oyster. Oh. So one thing you've spotted are oysters. The pearls might be quite useful. The easy way to collect them is probably to break the block they're sitting on. Okay. So I haven't actually tried going in the water prior to this. So let's go ahead and put our snorkel on our face. Like so. <laughs> I'm sure we look lovely. It's not about your fashion statement. It's about survival. Okay. Who are tree grew. Ugh, I've decided to collect a whole stack of uh, oak wood before I switch, which means I, I should probably start planting more. All right, anybody hiding out here? Nope, I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Close the door. All right. So let's see. If we take it off, we're going to experiment here. So if we take it off and we head into the water. Somewhere like here. Oh yeah, whoa. That was fast. So I'll try that again. Where it's here, it's a little shallower, it's safer. Yeah, our breath goes away almost instantly. Whew. Okay, so they're not kidding. It takes your breath away. I guess it is cold. Okay, so we'll put that on our face. And now if we try that again in too deep water. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Okay, ooh, let's see. Anything down here? We've got eel grass. I don't know if that's useful for anything. I don't see any pearl oysters yet, but we see eel grass. The lighting isn't great. Mm hmm. All right, I'll have to go explore that off camera. But we made that, and now we have to, like I said, I have to go find those those pearls off camera. But that should be pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. All right, so let's get back inside the safety. I don't know if eelgrass is useful for anything. Let's see. Um eelgrass. I'm sure I can just right click on it or something. You guys will tell me. Eelgrass. Eelgrass. It's found growing underwater. It's named due to long leaves. It resembles eels. It can be made. Aha! It can use it with a portal and mestal. Port. Blah, blah, blah. This thing. Pestle and mortar. And make floral green powder. Or you can make it as for cactus green. Awesome, so we just got ourselves some green materials. Those will come in handy, so let's go put that inside. Waiting for those to mature, that's some melons and carrots to get us some blackberries, hopefully. I think it was blackberries. Alright, back inside our little safety hole. Okay, and we'll just put the eelgrass... Uh, I guess we'll put it over here and with all the flowers and such and put these experience drops away before I lose them. Okay, so next quest uh, is going to be 
what the world embraces? Yes, we are crafting from memory. So we need to make a work table and it keeps track of the last nine things we've crafted. So that one's pretty easy. We head over to our crafting station and we need to make a chest. So we'll go around the board like that, make ourselves a chest. And I have four left over, which is not how we make what I wanted to make. Get our hatchet. I almost forgot how to make a crafting table. I was going to do it the old fashioned way with the four, but that doesn't work. And then I just remembered we need one of those and one of these. There we go. So then, yay, I got the, I got the achievement benchmarking. All my achievements are reset because I was playing something in a different version. Okay. So then I believe we put a chest, a crafting table in the middle that'll hold things, and then this will remember them, and we get ourselves a workbench from forestry. Yay! And we claim a reward, a Sakura or a Cypress. I like Sakura. Oh, actually, we get both of them. We don't have to claim them. Never mind. I wasn't paying attention. We get them both. All right. Did that unlock anything? No, not, not really. I was going to do the dolly, but that requires iron, and we don't have iron. So, yeah. All right. Let's put our saplings away with the rest of our trees. Those are from extra biomes. Just checking. So the ones from extra biomes tell you like this needs to be planted two by two. This is a one, one, one. And those are witcheries, they can be singles. Okie dokie, this is a one by one, and this is also a one by one. Okay, so the only one we have two is the redwood. That's okay. And then the dark oak. Okay. So we've got that. We could probably put it down somewhere. Somewhere handy. Like there. Alright, I'm going to check on the status of the recording because I've been going a while and I hate to get this far and see that it's messed up, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and everything looks like it's going good. Twelve minutes into the video or so, thereabouts. So we did the work table. Hooray! I think we still need wool for this, which we don't have, but we'll figure it out. So, what the world embraces, and encoding of the world. Did I get that far? No. We need a sifter, or we need a thing. This bees and fish. Life of the world. We're still working on working on blackberries, which is melons and carrots. So, yep, anything other quests yet? No, 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 nothing else. Okay. Well, I guess that's everything I planned to complete. I guess I did that rather well. Um, do I have anything really important on me? Well, all the books in the quest, um, all my tools in the quest book, but we can make more tools. Let's just go ahead and throw the quest book up there. Not that it really matters. We'll get our stuff back if we die. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I wanted to check and see if we can do if we can do this. Can we? Yes, but it doesn't really show up. It doesn't really show up. Okay. Um, I can't place it down either. Hmm. Can I place it on a block? Nope. Um. Nope. Nope. Okay, I was just trying to figure out what to do with the deaths. So apparently I've died five times, it says. I only have four markers, though. Um, I don't know why. Can I do this? Yeah, why is the dryer rack, drying rack the only thing that'll get those to show up? Um, I don't know. Maybe I have to item frame them. Okay, anyway, I was going to go out and hunt for endermen or spiders 
Um, I really want to get around to cotton seeds so we can make some wool. Okay, that's not mature yet. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. hello. Any endermen out here? Endermen? Endermen. Endermen. Nope. Thinking of making a mob spawning room just so I like have a little more consistency with mobs spawning. Um, we can check to make sure uh, I'm in normal. Okay, so that's not the problem today. Seems like everybody else I've seen play this like has lots of mobs spawning and I feel like I hardly ever have any spawning. Maybe it's just me. Alright, while we're waiting for mobs to show up, I guess I'll cut down this tree and do a little speedy work around the house, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Maybe I'll mine out some of this that I'm supposed to be getting rid of. Maybe somebody will sneak up on us. Alright, I'll see you soon. Okay, so no Enderman. That sucks. Um, so I guess we'll go back to the drawing board or the quest book, so to speak, and see what we can do. So, the quest book. We go back here, go back to what the world came, whatever. So we need to make some day blooms. And we need to make, I'll hit the right button, uh, Horn of the Wild. Okay, so if we look up Daybloom, how do we craft a Daybloom? Okay, two yellow petals, an orange petal, and a blue petal. I'm gonna get those ready and well, I guess I'll just get them I mean it's not like it's gonna take me a really long time I'll just you know pop in here and we need two yellow so we've got Ugh, come on yellow and light blue I think it was and orange 
And actually, this these might give me two each. Let's um, double check. Was it light blue? Come on. Yeah. Light blue. Okay. So, then we get two petals. Okay, so we do get two petals per flower, so we didn't really need two flowers. And two of those. Okay. And those. So we need one and one. I'm going to put the rest of this back. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. And we'll need a seed. Like so. And I heard any seed will do, so we might have a use for all these other seeds. But there are other things in the mod pack that might make these seeds useful as well. Let's get this out of the way. Grab some water. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. All right, and let's get this stuff out of the way. And then we'll just go there, 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 there. Okay. So then we'll just throw that one in, and that one, and that one. It's doing something. And finally, bazaar! Look at the pretty fireworks. I love that mod. Okay, so let's go to the quest book. And let's go back to the right quest. Complete. We get to pick one reward, so nightshades or Day blooms. Think nightshades. Why not? Glam reward. And then we'll be doing something with those later. But that's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. I am Dragon Feathers with the snorkel on my face. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.